Bible verse, Colossians 3.23, Whatever you do, do it enthusiastically, as something done for the Lord and not for men. First thoughts, having set out all the many advantages of being in Christ in the first two chapters of Colossians, and laying before us the glories of God's grace, and the heavenly privileges, of which we are all beneficiaries, Paul turns his attention to practical application in the final two chapters of his epistle. At first, he deals with the responsibilities, duties and mutual respect of wives and husbands towards each other, parents with their children, masters and their servants and we are encouraged to act circumspectly, and to work willingly and enthusiastically, and to do all that we do with our whole heart and in a manner that is pleasing to the Lord, as though we were working for the Lord himself, rather than for people. Our actions should reflect purity of attitudes and not be carried out grudgingly or simply due to necessity or need. There should be no inner murmurings or resentments, but rather our work should flow from an inner being that delights to be of service, and seeks to undertake all that we do enthusiastically and with blessed goodwill, as though we were doing it all for the Lord Jesus himself. From this moment forward, whatever we do, whether in word or deed, let us undertake to do it with a pure heart and seek to do it as unto the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Devotional Prayer Loving Lord, as I undertake the daily roles and responsibility in my life I pray that I will undertake it willingly, enthusiastically and to the best of my ability. I pray that in all I say and do I may do it unto you and for your praise and glory, in Jesus' name I pray, Amen.